not a gift. Oh. Boomer? Sorry. Yes. I, mean, I got you. You got us? Okay. Yeah. On the um, cannon? No. Hey, welcome back to Top 5. My name is Nemo Talai, and we are in the glorious Poly Pavilion with UCLA women's basketball forward, Monique Billings. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Thank can you for having me. Oh, wonderful. We just love you. <laughs> um, can we start off by introducing yourself? Of course. So, my name is Monique Billings, as Nemo mentioned, and I am a forward on the basketball team. I'm from Corona, California, and I'm going into my senior year. Nice, nice. Okay, so you had a very, very great summer. Um, you got to play for the country with Team USA. Can you just take me through uh, just the the whole process of it? And like, did you feel any culture shock? When you, you, you'll tell them where you went, but did you feel any um, culture shock during the experience? So first of all, it was absolutely an honor to be able to play with the USA team. That's one of the highest honors that you can receive as an athlete. So I was really thankful for that experience. But just my favorite part, I would say, is meeting all the different top players um, from around the country and just getting to compete against them. It's not easy, and I feel like that was the hardest part of the whole process, of just trying to compete with all those great players. But I'm glad I landed a spot. We ended up going to Tokyo. Uh, definitely a culture shock, because I felt like I was in a whole different world. And I'm, I'm really close to my family and stuff, so not being able to talk to them when they're going to sleep and I'm waking up or vice versa. It was different, but it was a really good experience. Definitely. Okay, that sounds great. Um, yeah, I watched a few of the games. You did amazing. Um, and luckily, you had Jordan Canada there as well, our point guard. Um, so can you take me through, you started your vlog, yes. right? So your vlog is titled Mo Money Mondays. You know, Mo Money. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, can you take me through like the initiative and like why you started the vlog? Yeah, so my vlog, it's a YouTube channel and basically I just wanted to document my experience as a student athlete going into my senior year and just showing the ins, the outs, off the court mostly, some on the court, but just stuff that people don't really see. I kind of want to just empower and inspire and help mentor girls that look up to me because I feel like when I came into college I didn't really have that guidance or that direction mm -hmm. so I just kind of I'm just going with the flow y'all should check it out give me a little follow yeah how love. can we find you if you just um, go on YouTube and it's my name Monique Billings it's right there subscribe to the channel check out the videos I post once a week every Monday Okay, and then just the process of that, like, is it very strenuous? I know you're, like you said, you're an athlete, um, you go to school as well, so how do you keep up with, you know, vlogging every week or having a video for your fans every week? It's not easy at all, and just, I would just say getting yourself out there, getting your foot in the door is the hardest part just because you want to have good content. Everyone is posting stuff, everyone's trying to be new and... You just have to try and keep up and just make sure that your content is good and also just keeping good people around you who will tell you and help you and um, I don't know, just give you good advice on what to share and stuff like that. So, yeah. Alright, that sounds great. So I just have one more question and I want to ask you about like, women in sports. So you know how like, women are very underrated um, and like how do you feel being in the position that you're a phenomenal basketball player um, but I think that UCLA women's basketball is underrated in comparison to our men's. Um, so how do you feel about going into this industry, um, potentially have a career in basketball, and just knowing how, how much work you have to put in, but how much you receive? I try not to look at it that way. I try to look at the glass half full, not half empty. And just I'm thankful for the people who do support women's basketball because, mm -hmm. of course, we could have more support, more followers, all that. But I'm thankful. I try to pay attention and tune into people who are here to help support us mm -hmm. and I just try to play for them I try to play for my family and it's about having fun it's not necessarily I don't care if there's three people in the stands obviously I want like <laughs> thousands of people in the stands yeah, but sure. I'm just I'm having fun and um, I just love playing and I just love the sport in general so just if I can inspire or touch one person through my play my job is done okay that sounds great so in top five tradition um, we make every guest do a top five something so um, you're a foodie, and I wouldn't know what are the top five your top five restaurants in Southern California. Okay, 
Top five restaurants. Honey Kettle. What else? I like sushi, so any sushi spot really. Um, we post a lot of interesting desserts. There's a place called Slater 5050. They have bacon milkshakes. What? They're fire. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check it out. It's super good. Um, the LA Fair, they had ice cream chicken sandwiches. Those were pretty lit. Was the, um, the chicken cold or was it? No, it was warm. Okay. Yeah, it was really good. And then last, I like afters. Afters ice cream, donut with ice cream. Okay. All the unhealthy stuff, you know. Yes, but you still have like this amazing body, so I don't <laughs> understand. Like me, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> like I eat everything. Um, well, thank you so much. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. So if you can like, subscribe, comment. Also, we'll put up Mo's handle as well. Um, check out Mo Money Mondays. It's like very entertaining. So thank you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.